So, Q&A session. Got some Q&A? Gonna go through. First question. A lot of people always say to me, oh, you're so lucky, you're so lucky, because I've met people like um, Jacoby Shaddix from Puppy Roach and Russell Brand and stuff like that. And then... They're like, you're always meeting celebrities, you're like a rock star magnet, because so every concert I seem to go to, I seem to meet someone. But it's something that I get told a lot, and it's something that I really want to clear up, because I I don't really see it so much as luck. Um, more as positive energy being given back to me, which sounds really hippie. But I live my life trying to be the best that I can, being nice to people, helping people wherever possible, generally trying to be a good egg. Um, I, I shush, digger, I'm not bothering you. It's my doggy. Um, but trying to do the best in everything. I, I treat other people with kindness and respect, and I, I'm not aggressive. And, um, I think if 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 you live your life that way and try and be generally a good person, don't 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 go out to screw people over or shove off people. Can you stop eating my socks? He's pulling my socks out of my pocket. Um. Then, if you live your life in a positive way, then God, the universe, stop it. Well, whatever will return that positive back to you so kind of like karma but not um, a lot of it it's also determination <laughs> in some cases um, like for Adam Lambert I have stood outside in the pouring rain for two hours <laughs> um, but I made some great friends doing it so other times like with Jacoby um, he just, I was just in the right place at the right time. Um, I was just standing there and he literally walked over to me. Um, so yeah, I suppose in that instance, that was lucky. If you view it that way, but generally, it's persistence. Persistence plays a major role. Question number two. Um, I've had quite a few photographers wanting to like book me for jobs when I've, people have asked about my rates um, they're very cheap I assure you but um, some people say oh you you, you charge for your photography for your modelling and, and you plead poverty which I don't but we'll get on to that in a minute um, and yet you go to all these concerts and all these gigs um, yeah I don't plead poverty um, I'm not the richest of people, I'm not the poorest of people. I'm thankful enough that I don't need to worry where my next tin of beans is coming from and stuff like that. I live within my means, you know? I don't live extravagantly. The only thing I spend money on is concerts and gigs and holidays, experiences. Because you can't take it all with you when you go. It's all well and good having an iPad, having this. Yeah, I don't have an iPad, by the way. I'd like to stress. I, I don't want one either. It's all well and good having these things, but you can't take them with you when you die. And if, depending on what you believe, if there's some kind of higher consciousness or soul or whatever, then possibly that can retain memories and experiences. And even if it can't, we're only here for such a short amount of time is it not better to pack that time with love and experiences and, 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 and good energy good vibes um so yeah i do spend money on those things and i make no apologies for that but uh, i'd rather have good memories than material possessions one second my dog doesn't like that left the door wide open I'd like to think he was born in a barn, but he wasn't. He's my boyfriend's mum's, so that's my fault. <laughs> Upcoming 
projects. People are asking me about upcoming projects and I'm currently working on a very beautiful dress covered in candy which is um, based on Katy Perry's California Girls. Um, I'll do another video and I'll show you the dress and my progress and how it's going on. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing that eventually. I've got all the wigs and everything else. Um, I just need somebody who's good with Photoshop who's going to be able to do the background because I want to use the background from the video, like the candy world. It's going to need someone really good with the top, with a camera, with Photoshop to do that. You are really getting on my wick. You're like, in, out, in, out. I don't know. I know what I want to do. I'm going to come in. I'm going to leave the door wide open. The reason why I want the door shut is because my boyfriend is asleep upstairs and he's got to be up at half past four for work in the morning. So Digger coming in and out is really a pain in the backside. Go out in the garden. There we go. You'll have nice and sweet now. So yes. Casey Perry California Girls Project. I'm also putting together the Vicious Kittens calendar. Um, hopefully you you all are aware of and know Vicious Kittens. If not, where have you been? Search Vicious Kittens on Facebook. You'll find out all you need to know. It's brilliant. Um, so I'm putting together that calendar. It's due for release later on this year. November, December time. Uh, ready for January 2013 calendar. So um, that's been mad. Mad. But it'll be worth it. I'm also trying to arrange a VK Christmas party. We want to do like a big ball thing uh, somewhere in London. So that's taking up a lot of my time trying to organise venues and performers and do we sell tickets, do we not sell tickets, all that kind of thing. So yeah, that's that. And also, I'm still at university, so I'm researching for my dissertation. Um, Shoots wise, I'm not really. I've got a few like things planned, but no, no like major major projects. Um, no doubt I'll shoot with Claire Louise photography again very soon. Love her and she's down the road, so we work together a lot, which I like. Uh, another question: Is my boyfriend or is your boyfriend supportive of your career choice? Yes. Um, I talked about this a lot in a Q&A video session that I did with Alice Cat when I went over to visit her in Wales. Um, so I won't go too much into it now, just watch the video when she gets it up and um, you'll, you'll, you'll find out a bit more. She's having a bit of difficulty getting it uploaded, um, so I will make you aware when it becomes available, but yeah, in a nutshell he's, he's fab and totally supportive. Um, how did you get involved with This Is My Body project? Um, first of all, can I just say Kaylee, you're doing a fantastic job, sweetheart. I am um, 100% supportive of this cause and it needs more exposure. It's brilliant. Um, I wouldn't say like I'm involved with it any more than the next person. I think it's something for everybody. But um, I've submitted a photo, um, the comparison photo of me with makeup, photoshopped uh, by a professional photographer and then me at home chilling in my dressing gown with no makeup on, just to see the difference, just so, because I think it's important for young girls to know, and women, grown women as well, affects everyone, that what you see in magazines isn't an accurate representation of what that person really looks like when they're at home and... I think that's really important. So, I'm I'm just one of a great many people that want to support the cause. Digger, you are really annoying. Do you know that? <laughs> uh, have you always wanted to be a model? No. Um, I always wanted to be an actress. Uh, I went to theatre school. I uh, did amateur dramatics, I did A level drama, um, I had a few extra parts, I did like Harry Potter and stuff like that, but um, my confidence really really took a knock um, when I was diagnosed with my with bipolar and I couldn't face the auditions. 
um, and also singing was a massive passion for me as well um, but I lost my confidence in that when I did a stage performance and um, like the week before I was due to go on stage I got bronchitis so I went on and understandably my voice was awful like really awful I mean beyond cat strangles awful and it, it completely destroyed me so I'm still building up my confidence singing wise from that um, I also wanted when I was younger when I was like 15, 16, 17, 18 I wanted to be a, a criminal profiler like a behavioural, behavioural analyst um, like what you see on Criminal Minds um, so I went to university and I did a year of psychology but I couldn't get along with it I didn't like it at all so now I'm studying history uh, with a view to hopefully becoming a tour guide in the future I don't really see modelling as a career I see it as a, a, a fantastic hobby and it's a bonus that I get paid for it um, so I know I never I never it, it's something that like, I never really aspired to do, to do. Um, a massive passion of mine or anything I literally just woke up one day and said do you know what I fancy doing a bit of modelling <laughs> and I went and I found the photographer in Meadows area who was rejigging his portfolio about and had a shoot and the rest is history um Number seven is you're very open about your mental illness. Why? Why not? <laughs> um, it happens to, to loads of people, so why brush it under the carpet? Why shouldn't we talk about it? Um, I'm not ashamed to have a chemical imbalance in my brain. All bipolar disorder comes down to is a misfiring of the serotonin neurons like your happy chemical you know so like normal people have a steady flow of serotonin mine's like blocked so sometimes none gets through and i'm really really depressed and i'm really really down and then you've got this build up build up build up build up and then when it does go through it goes like this and now i'm like wow i'm mad happy that's all it is um it's a chemical imbalance in the brain and i don't think that's any more of an issue than like diabetes or why should you be ashamed to talk about it? Um, I'm not weak, I'm not any less of a person, I'm not any less of a woman, it's important to talk about it because um, I take my medication and I consider myself to be a fully functioning, normal member of society um, I'm a good person and to, to, to be in the place where I'm at now from the place where I was where I was contemplating suicide and things like that I think it's really really important to say I'm here, I'm okay, it gets better um, there is a way out and, and, and keep going and be strong and the more people like me stand up and say something about it the more people are going to go and get help for their problems and the less stigma is going to be attached to it. So no, I'm not ashamed of it. Actually, I'm quite proud of it. I'm quite proud of where I was and, and, and how far I've come, where I am now. It's been a very long and difficult journey, but I've got there. Um, exercise or diet tips. I do relatively no exercise other than walking my dog and yoga. I do really enjoy yoga. I like dancing as well. I used to do a lot of dancing when I went to theatre school and stuff like that. Um, I don't do so much now, but I do still really enjoy it. Um, I think the main thing is eat good. Try and put shit in your body. It's really tempting when you're on the go. Um, and I like junk food as much as the next person. But you you just got to try and be good. Um, little things like keep your weight down, like um, semi-skimmed milk in your tea instead of full fat milk. Sweetener instead of sugar, aspartame free though, I'm not going to encourage you to, to put aspartame in your body, but uh, like stevia, um, yeah, sweetener instead of sugar, makes a huge difference. 
um, eat just enough to satisfy your hunger. Like, give your body what it wants. Um, but there's no need to go overboard. So just eat, eat enough to fill you up and leave it at that. Don't stuff yourself. And if you're sitting there, like I never, I never have like chocolate or cake or anything like that. So if I'm sitting there and I really, really, really crave a bit of cake, I will let myself have that because you should give your, you should give your body what it wants. Telling you it needs sugar, or you know, if I'm hungover, I always crave super noodles, batch of super noodles, because my body needs the salt. So just, uh, just eat good, and then you can have the occasional treat, and it's fine. Uh, number nine, your best and worst qualities. My best quality is my kindness. I'm a nice, I'm a really nice person. I generally try and look out for everyone and do my best for everyone and I like to think of a nice person. Uh, my worst quality is definitely I talk too much. I definitely talk too much. I've definitely got too much to say for myself. But yeah. Uh, number ten, what do you think about makeup on guys? Uh guy liner? Yeah. Big ten? No. Foundation is okay if it's done properly and then Eyeliner, um, eyeliner, eyeshadow, and stuff like that. It's 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 okay if it's done properly. Um, fake tan thing, I don't know. I hate fake tan anyway. But eyeliner is always a yes. Number eleven, uh, beauty tips. Spots. I don't really get spots. I'm really really lucky. I've been like blessed with skin from my mum and my nana but um milk of magnesia is really good if you just dab it on and then like leave it overnight it really reduces inflammation so if you have like a big spot it'll go down to like a little pimple so that's really good um you can like declump your mascara by putting it in a bowl of warm water like hot water not boiling water but hot water and it works for nail varnish and stuff like that as well everybody always says oh run it under the hot tap don't warm it up in your hand I'm losing my voice warm it up in your hand and then put it <coughs> put it in a bowl of warm water I'm just having a drink because I appear to be dying from talking too much Mascara. My biggest tip when it comes to mascara is applying it to apply it to all of your eyelashes, especially apply it to the edges because it makes your eyes look bigger and wider. Uh, makes your eyes look big and blue. And um, to stop red lipstick from getting on your teeth, because I had this problem a lot. Um, once you apply it and you blot, do this. It'll go look really weird, <laughs> like a blow up doll. And put your finger through like this. And all the lipstick that would have gone on your teeth is now on your finger. Simple. Number 12, do you play any musical instruments? Not really. Um, over the years I've played like keyboard, guitar, recorder, violin. I adore the violin. I absolutely adore the violin. It's the only instrument that I still own. Um, I like hardly ever play it. Um, I'd love to learn guitar again because I've forgotten absolutely everything. It's not something I'd really like to do. Uh, number 13. Do you have any pets? Everybody's always asking me this. I have two. Um, two Shih Tzu Terrier Crosses, brother and sister, called Digger and Honey. I've done a separate video on them, so just go watch that. You can see them and all their madness, fighting each other, and everything like that. That's it. That's actually it for now. Keep your questions coming in, keep your Q&As coming in. 
Um, you can ask me on Facebook. You can ask me by email, pixiesuicide at live.co.uk. You can ask me via Tumblr, pixiesmodel.tumblr.com. Um, my anon is always on because I think it's funny. So do your worst and um, look forward to answering some other questions. Ah, uh, okay, my phone appears to have frozen again. It does this when I do a video for any length.